Welcome to this recording. I'm Bianca Nell, the Accounting Lecturer at CA Campus. In this recording, we're briefly going to look at how to make use of your analysis of owner's equity and to ensure that your marker actually allocate marks to the analysis of owner's equity in your calculations. Remember, when you use an analysis of owner's equity, that this is purely a calculation. You need to ensure that you understand that Making use of your analysis of owner's equity will take time. Therefore, it is important that you please practice doing this at home. It is important when you, when you read the requirement that you identify if you actually need your analysis of owner's equity. Please don't waste your time to include one if you don't need one. Then, once you have prepared the analysis of owner's equity, you need to be able to identify from your analysis of owner's equity what information do you need from it. Therefore, please do not waste time to include totals and so forth if you do not need this. Then a tip and something that I have seen during my marking. When you receive your script, my recommendation, open your script and include your analysis of owner's equity across two pages. Why? This will ensure that you have sufficient space available to be able to reference your calculations properly, number one, and number two, to include your smaller calculations. I receive quite a lot of questions in terms of small calculations. Where do I include this from an exam technique point of view? This is the reason why I indicate to our students, please leave sufficient lines open to be able to add your small calculations in your big calculations. Now, I'm going to work through a question briefly with you in terms of the analysis of owner's equity. You do not have the information. This is a CA campus question, but I'm going to explain to you the thinking process in terms of our analysis of owner's equity purely from an exam technique point of view. I always indicate to my students the importance of planning your attempt. In this scenario, we have Lego Limited, the parent. Our parent owns Duplo Limited, subsidiary that remains a subsidiary. Lego Limited owns Building Blocks Limited, subsidiary that becomes an RFRS 9 investment they've sold. And Junior Blocks Limited. Uh, as an associate, therefore, we need to apply our IS28 principles. The requirement states that we need to prepare the statement of changes in equity. Now, guys, you know this can be difficult, but you need to ensure that you understand what you need and how to attempt the question. Now, in our structure, I know that I have my four entities. Remember, I prefer to make use of an analysis of owner's equity. Therefore, I briefly plan. Now, guys, you don't always have to write this down. You need to think about this. For Duplo Limited, I'm going to include my analysis of owner's equity on one page. I'm going to reference this calculation one. For building blocks, analysis of owner's equity calculation two. Junior blocks, analysis of owner's equity calculation three. Now, within my analysis of owner's equity of Duplo Limited, calculation number one, if I use any amount, I'm going to reference this calculation 1.1. Now, you don't have to include the C, guys. You can include purely 1.1 circle, 1.2 circle, 1.3 circle, and so forth. When you look at C2, Exactly the same. Make use of 2.1 circle, 2.2 circle, and so forth. C3, 3.1, 3.2, and so forth. Now, if you need to include any other additional calculations, you can start off on a new page with C4, calculation 4, C5, calculation 5, C6, and so forth. Okay, because it is important. Remember, when you look at an analysis of owner's equity, and this is of Duplo, this is my C1. When you look at this, guys, be honest with yourself. If you indicate to a marker, refer to C1, where on this page is that amount that you refer to? Remember, your marker doesn't have time to use the calculator and search and type and see, but where is this amount? Therefore, it is important that you indicate to your marker, this is my C1. 
This is my C2. This is my C3. And within C1, let's say for example, I need to prepare my NCI's profit in my statement of changes in equity. Now, when you look at this, my NCI, I need to prepare the profit for the year, thus 251293 amount. I know that my NCI consists out of Duplo. Look at this, guys. It consists out of a portion of Duplo and a portion of building blocks for the current year. Now, within my statement of changes in equity, I need to prepare my profit for the year. My recommendation, you can either commence or you can either complete your calculation numbers or at the bottom, include an A. This is your calculation A. Indicate that you're going to calculate that amount. And then what you need to do when you refer to Duplo, you look at Duplo, you know now that you will have to make use of this green amount, the current year's profit, 102034, and then the three months profit, 24294. Remember, you do not have the information, guys. I'm barely indicating to you exam technique here. Okay, so what you need to do, you need to indicate that this is calculation 1.1, and this is calculation 1.2, and you transfer this. I've transferred this, calculation 1.1, Now, guys, identify, I include the calculation referencing. If I have indicated to my marker, refer to C1, yes, you will assume that your marker should know that they need to look at your NCI column. But, guys, remember, you need to make this as easy as possible for your marker to be able to identify. Then we also know that we need to include the profit portion of building blocks. Now, when you look at this, guys, the current year's profit for the year, 10 months, 124965. I'm going to reference this my calculation 2.1 and transfer. I have transferred this, guys, calculation reference 2.1124965. Now, guys, the total adds to my 251 two nine three and my marker will be able to allocate the marks therefore guys you need to make it easy for your marker remember if you make this easy for your marker to mark then you will receive marks easier i know that the analysis of owners equity does take quite a lot of time it really it does i know that but that is why it is important that you plan do you really need your analysis of owner's equity? And you need to identify what do you need from your analysis of owner's equity. Good luck, guys. I really do hope that this recording helped you a little bit.